Recently, a student in my Weekly Fusion Zoom class sent me this video tutorial by Robert Murray Smith titled 3D Printed Bearing That Works. It's a great video and I highly recommend you go watch it because in the video, Robert makes a very important point that when designing for 3D printing, you need to leverage the strengths of 3D printing into your design approach. Very often, we try to replicate an existing part, not realizing that the design choices are optimized for a different manufacturing process. I've made this point in the past when I see people trying to replicate uh, an injection molded part, for example, and they try to create all the different unnecessary features like ribs and draft angles that are very specific to the manufacturing process. Robert beautifully makes this point in designing a bearing. Many 3D printed models exist where the designer will simply try to replicate bearings. However, 3D printers are pretty bad at printing spheres, but they're really good at printing cylinders. So he takes a step back and looks at how we can leverage the strengths of 3D printing and approach designing a bearing using cylinders instead of spheres. He goes through a Tinkercad tutorial that I found very interesting. My student's request was, how would I approach this using Fusion? In the video, I'm going to go through my design approach. I recommend that you watch Robert's video first and give the design a try in Fusion. Um, sort of interpreting his approach and kind of translating to it, like how you would approach it in Fusion. And then come back to this video and watch my approach and then we can compare strategies. All right, here's my design. If you're interested in learning Fusion, make sure to check out the links below to some resources I have. All right, we're going to begin by first creating the cylindrical bearings. And I'm gonna keep this simple and just keep it moving along by using bodies instead of components. Um, you can, and it'd probably be better to approach this using components, you know, especially if you wanna come back later and add joints and, and, and do motion relationships. But for just the sake of expediency, we're gonna simply use bodies. Uh, all right, so we're gonna begin by creating a sketch on the front plane and to approach the cylindrical bearings I'm gonna start with a uh, Center rectangle here. So create center rectangle. I'm gonna create a rectangle here. I'm gonna make it 10 by 10 And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna rotate this so I'm just gonna select the whole thing right click go to move slash copy choose my set pivot pivot right to the center point and then click that little green check mark to set it and then I'm just gonna start moving this little rotation widget and give it a 45 degree rotation, hit enter. And there we have it. And to lock this in place, I'm gonna grab my vertical constraint here and constrain this center line. All right, I'm gonna get it close to the origin here and I'm gonna use a uh, horizontal constraint to constrain that center point to my origin. And then I'm gonna uh, hit D for dimension and distance it, this left corner here from that center and we're going to do 10 millimeters. Okay, now I need to turn this square into a cylinder. Let me finish sketch here. If I hit E for extrude and extrude this in a symmetrical nature, I'm just gonna get an extruded rectangle. So I have to do a revolve instead. So let's go back to that sketch. And the way I'm gonna approach that is I'm gonna hit L for line, create a line right from that center point of that uh, middle um, of that line there or that midpoint constraint you can see it gives you that little triangle I'm gonna click on that and now that gives me a profile to revolve around so I'll click finish sketch create revolve select this profile and this center axis here and now I have a cylinder okay so I need to well here I'll just sh it'll be easier to see if I kind of show it so if I go ahead and take this and now create a circular pattern from that um, I'll go and select this body and my axis will be my Z axis here. Um, so we want 10 of these and then so I can click quantity, make it 10, um, click OK here and you see we have 10. But there's a problem because um, if you watch the tutorial in Tinkercad, you'll notice that each of these, they have to change orientation. So it's one pointing out, one pointing in, one out and one in. So they have to alternate. Um, so to do that, the way I'm going to approach it is let me undo. And I'm going to go back to that sketch here. And if I create a mirror line here, I'm just going to create a line, make it a construction line. I'm going to take this, go to mirror, create a mirror. 
and and select my mirror line here choose that center line click OK if I if I mirror this this way it's it's not gonna work let me just show you so if I if I do this and then go to create revolve select this profile in this line here um, that's gonna be the same orientation I need this to be flipped the other way for this to work so um, what I'm gonna do is back to the sketch instead of making this line this way I need to flip it the opposite way so I'm gonna um, just make a line from this center point to that center point and now I can create my revolve around um, that profile around this so yeah so mirroring it would give it um, the wrong orientation so I kind of have had to create a new profile and then do a separate revolve now I can go back to my circular pattern choose this guy and pattern that around the center and I'm only gonna make five of those click OK I'm gonna repeat the same thing for this body and I'm gonna make five of those as well and now that gives me the correct orientation where each of these um, go a different direction uh, they alternate in direction perfect alright let's create our uh, bottom um, portion of our bearing and then our top um, the way I approach the bottom is I'm gonna create a sketch on the front plane here and I'll hit P for project and I'm gonna project this edge and this edge here click OK on toggle bodies and here I just need to see my current sketch so I just wanted this profile shape of that one bearing and what I'm going to do is create a rectangle so R for two point rectangle I'm just gonna draw a rectangle like this I'm gonna make this line here uh, one millimeter from that point I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom and I'll just reference this dimension here so they'll both be one millimeter um, this top point here I'm gonna make that uh, actually let's bring it down a bit and then yeah we can do a horizontal constraint from that top point to this point here and in this point here I'm gonna make that coincident to the origin all right finish sketch I'm gonna take that profile just this section here create revolve around this central axis and that'll give us this shape but we don't want to cut we want a new body and there we have it so here to organize things um, a little better what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take let's see this is my bottom so let's just name that bottom and I'm gonna right click on bodies create a new group I'm gonna shift select uh, the first body and the second body and drag those into that one group and I'm gonna just call this group cylindrical bearings okay now I can toggle that you know on and off and not have to toggle each bearing independently which would be a pain so I've got my bottom shape here which just took that profile and did a revolve and it gives me this shape here um, to create the top I'm simply gonna mirror that bottom so I'll go to create down to mirror select it um, select my mirror plane I'll just choose that XY plane gonna change this operation from a join to a new body click OK I'm gonna change the name here from body to top would make sense that top would be on top so I'm just gonna drag it right there all right so now I've got the top and I've got the bottom here okay there we have it okay this is a good place to stop right now so um, this would just be too long of a video if I do the whole design and print so we'll break this into uh, multi-part series um, so for now just try to get caught up here um, go ahead and design you know the, the bearings here and then the bottom and the top and then in the next video um, we're gonna go ahead and create the uh, snapping feature that's gonna allow the top to snap together with the bottom and that's a whole project in itself to create that and get it to work right but we'll jump into that in the next class we'll finish creating that mechanism here and then we'll uh, we'll run a test print and uh, you know see what needs to be optimized and then uh, probably take a few iterations to get this just right but yeah come back um, or if you're seeing this after I've posted the video just check the next video in this series all right if you have any questions on any of the steps I took leave it in the comments below 
And uh, if you're interested in learning Fusion following a structured, easy step-by-step -step, uh, video courses, uh, check out the links I have below to my online courses. And if you're interested in joining my weekly live Zoom class where you can share your designs and ask specific questions uh, to where you're stuck to help you get unstuck, check out the link below. I've got a special link to a discount to join that course as well. All right, I will see you in the next one.